Troy, the second half was a lot different than the first. Can you talk about how, the adjustments you guys made coming out after the break? Um, less turnovers, a rebound of the basketball just had more aggression to us. Um, one on the offensive, offensive glass, didn't turn the ball over as much as the first half. It seemed like they were in the first half especially. They, they closed down the inside and you guys were forced to settle the threes. Is that accurate? How did you guys see that development? Um, in the first half, well, one, I would say that, but we had some shots in the inside too. We just was lazy on the defensive end, getting back in transition. They had a lot of transition buckets and they was getting to the glass. They had, they was plus, Plus something on the rebounds. They was up a whole lot in the first half. They scored, yeah. See, they scored forty some points in the first half, and in the second half we held them to twenty three. It seemed like they they jump Shaq. It seemed like they jump on you guys pretty quickly. Did it take you guys a while to recover? Um, I just think I just think we came out kind of like a day school. And um, if we put two halves like that together, I think I think the game would have been much closer. And um, I think we turned the ball over a little bit too much, including myself. Did that one three one? You guys cut to seven. They go to the one three one. Did that just kind of throw you guys off your rhythm a little bit? I think you turned it over five times in six possessions. I don't think it threw us off. I I think we were just rushing. Uh, we wasn't playing relaxed. We was moving too fast. Is it a matter of trying to get it all back at once instead of just playing play by play? It's being too anxious, letting the crowd and how the game is going to get to you or get to us as a team. Uh, just we got to play more calm and collective. Did you prep for the one three one a lot in the week leading up to the game? Yeah, we did, had a wonderful week of practice. Uh, coaches did a wonderful job. You know, like we said, we just got to get the job done uh, earlier from the start of the tip. Shaq, they beat you three times in a row, and they've kind of taken control of the series. You're like, what, 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 we're not concerned with Xavier. You guys had enough? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. We're not, we're not concerned with Xavier. You want to ask questions about Cincinnati. Xavier's got a great team. They're, they play for Cincinnati. We're the Cincinnati. I'm the Cincinnati coach. Hope everybody enjoyed the game. Xavier outplayed us. Uh, they got a really good team. I was really proud of the way our guys fought in the second half. Uh, in particular, Shaq Thomas. Uh, he showed a lot of heart. Something I've been asking him to do. I had a meeting with him this week, so I was really proud of the way he battled in the second half. But that being said, um, I, they, they hurt us on the outside in the first half, the inside in the second half. But ultimately, you're never going to beat a team. They're going to be ranked in the top ten. Uh, if they'd have been ranked to start the year like they probably should have been, they'd already be in the top ten. But that happens to both, both of us year in, year out. Uh, you're not going to beat a team like that with 16 turnovers. You're just not going to have any chance to win. So really, any other discussion about strategy is a moot point. And proof of that is their best player gets three points and they win. And they're in control of most of the game, you know, almost the whole game. So whatever, the whole game. So that's because of our turnovers. So we, we didn't give ourselves a chance the way we didn't protect the ball. That's rule number one on the road against real teams. They got a real team. We don't care about the crosstown stuff. It just it doesn't matter to us. I, I would I think I, I would say that Chris has got bigger fish to fry this year than than that stuff. How much of the turnovers was, was you? How much was them? Uh, they didn't press. They didn't trap. They didn't press. So it's us. Not strong with the ball. You know, when a team presses you, like we go play VCU in a few weeks, you know, you play Hugs at West Virginia right now. I mean, you're going to have some. It's just part of it because of the way they play. But that's not the way Xavier plays. They play pack line defense. Every day they practice, they have a 17-foot piece of tape around in a pack line. So there, you shouldn't turn the ball over against that. Why do you think they respond so well in the second half? Is there something that happened at halftime? No. Time? No. That's a media thing. I'm not puffed a magic dragon. I didn't throw any magic I dust. No, no, nah, 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 that stuff's all overrated. Everybody loves that stuff, and you know how much I respect I have for you, Bill. That stuff's all overrated. You know what happened in the first half? We got outplayed, and we got sick of it. And our guys came out. We did. There was nothing magical, and it, it's most games. 
It's like Marvin Lewis always says, do your job, okay? We weren't getting anything done. The Xavier kids and were getting everything done. We did a better job in the second half. We did a much better job in a lot of things in the second half. A lot, yeah, but, but it was not the magical adjustments. I mean, it, it is what it is. Okay. Did you do anything um, in particular on Trayvon Blewett, or was it just, you know? No. You know, uh, he'll, he, he's a great player. This is one game. So um, that's probably the only area where we, we excelled today on the defensive end. Um, but you have it. it you have it to do over again. You know, it, 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 at halftime, it was 10 nothing second chance, 9 nothing fast break. You got no chance. You're not coming back from 16 down here. Unless you rein in a lot of threes. And we had our chance to rein in some threes, and they, they didn't go down for us. That's the only way you're going to be able to try to overcome some uh, that type of deficit against a, a team of this caliber. Where do you uh, stand? I'm sorry. Go ahead. About a third of the way through the season, roughly. What do you think? Oh, we made progress in the second half. You know, this is the best team we played um, by far on the road, and we made some progress in the second half of the season. But uh, you know, I don't, I don't get into all that stuff again. We just, we go back. To, I used to coach against three top twenty-five teams a week. You know, you were always a week away from a three-game losing streak in two thousand and eight and ten in my life. So just worry about practice tomorrow. Try to get better. We stay together. Uh, which we did throughout the game. We never fell apart. We stayed together. We're, we just got outplayed today. They made more plays than us. You know, we dug too big of a deficit. It's really not rocket science. You, know, you just can't, you can't give the ball away to a team like that and then go try to out-hustle them. It's just not going to happen. Do the seniors take a loss like this harder than other losses? Or, you know? I don't buy into all that stuff, you know. It's just that nobody's saying, you know, I was just in there. I checked. No banners up there to say we beat Cincinnati. They get, you know, Chris, one of the best coaches in the country. They have a tremendous commitment to basketball here. Uh, they got a great program. It, it, this isn't 1994, uh, whatever that year was, in the MCC in the Cincinnati Gardens, okay? They got practice. They got everything you would want in a basketball program support-wise, okay? They stopped the coach from taking a Pac-12 job. They're rent getting ready to renovate this place. They got great support. The, it, you know, those days are that ship is long sailed in this rivalry. Long sailed. Anything else? Thanks, guys.